I have the, I feel pleasure and privilege of living in the Silicon Valley, which I'm a little biased, but I think is the heart of innovation in the country. And one of the reasons for that is that unlike most places in the country, and certainly most places in the world, we embrace failure as necessary to innovate. And so it's not only okay to fail, it's viewed as a positive credential on your resume that you have tried business undertakings and failed. You've been an entrepreneur and failed. As long as you're learning from those failures and you're applying them and you're moving forward, that's viewed as a very positive thing. And I think embracing failure is fundamental to developing innovative capability. And I think that's counterintuitive to a lot of organizations and to a lot of individuals. So that's probably the first thing that I would say. The second thing is innovation thrives in an environment of diversity. And I think this plays to having women in the workforce, but not all women. I've managed many teams in my career, and I have found that the best teams in every way include a good balance of gender, culture, types of background, disciplines. And I think having women represented amply on a team is fundamental to providing that diversity because women have a different perspective in many ways.